guys today i am going to show you how to register in the prc website or the liris website which is the licensure examination registration and information system okay let's go let's go to my computer screen first open your favorite browser in my case the google chrome so in the search bar type online dot prc dot gov dot ph and hit enter now we are in the prc website or the Liris website so just click ok close then as you can see there there are two tabs the register tab and the sign in tab so you will select the register tab so here are the introduction to the website itself, the description of service, privacy, password protection, availability of service, registration obligations, and the password usage. So if you want to read all of this, feel free to do so. So in my case, I will just click I agree. So after you click it, now you will input your personal information like your first is your first name your middle name and your last name your gender your suffix if you have one and your civil status next is your birth date your email address and your password and your preferred password So make sure it has a capital, uppercase, and a symbol so that it will be secured from hackers. So your password must be must have at least one letter, one number, and one special character for security purposes. So you don't want your account to get hacked, do you? So be sure to follow these instructions. So after you entered all your information, just click register. So after you click register, there is a confirmation dialog box for you to confirm if the information you entered is correct. So after you verified the information, just click in on the captcha. then click agree slash confirm so after that an email will be sent to you for you to verify so all you have to do is go to your email you will look for the email named prc slash online then you will click the button click here to validate email So it will go back to the Leris website. Then all you have to do is to log in your information that you you created. All you have to do is enter the information that you've created before and then click submit. So after that, your email is now validated. Click to redirect to home page. Click this. Now it will go back to the main Larry's website. Just click OK. 
proceed then there you go there is your information that you've entered so in your profile tab there is your personal information which consists of your first name middle name last name birth date birthplace so you can enter your birthplace in here so just click the search and you can search for the address in the drop down menu so say for example metro manila area so it will go there automatically now as you can see there is a citizenship option so you will just select if you are Filipino, dual citizenship or other. So I will click Filipino. Have, have you ever been convicted by final judgment by any court or justice, military, tribunal or administrative body? So we will select no. So now in the second tab, the contact details. So we have here the house number, street, barangay, zip code, the town, mobile number, telephone number, and the alternate email address. So here guys in the alternate email address, it's only optional. So you can just leave it blank. One thing to notice here is that you see an asterisk right after each field so that means that is a required field you must not leave that field blank or else you cannot submit this form and the next tab is regarding the your family background spouse name if you have a wife wife or husband father's name, mother's name, and their citizenship. Next is next tab. Next tab is for your education. So first, first is the name of the school that you attended. So say for example, you attended UP Diliman. Say for example, you attended, so you will just search your school here. So let's just choose for, choose for example, Abad Santos Educational Institution. Next is the degree or course related to the examination you are applying for. So just click search. Let's just select for this for an example process. Two year electromechanics technology. Then you will select or enter your date of graduation. Next tab is for your employment history. So, the option is here is are you practicing your profession? So, if you are practicing your profession right now, you just select yes, and if not, select no. I will select yes. Next tab is the valid ID or for passport for SPLE applicants so if you already have a license you can enter it here the valid ID number issued at and the issue date and the last tab is for other information so if you are a person with disability select if it is a visual impairment 
hearing impairment, physical handicap, speech impairment, or others. So I will just select none. Next is the notifications. Here you will select if you want to be notified from the PRC website regarding new updates from them. So the choices here is I want to receive news and notifications and I don't want to receive news and notification at all. So here I will just select I want to receive news and notifications. So after that, you will just click save information. So after you have entered all of your, after you have, you have next it is required next next it is required that you upload your picture so next it is required that you upload your picture in the website so to do so In the personal information tab, next. It is important that you upload your picture on the PRC website. So, next, it is important that you upload your prof your profile picture. Next, it is important that you upload your a picture. Next, it is important that you upload a picture in the website. Next, it is important that you upload a picture in the PRC website. So to do that, just click in this camera icon. Then it says, it says here that to avoid delay or disapproval, please follow the following. Number one, the photo must be 2x2 two two in size in plain white background. I repeat, the photo must be 2x2 two two size with plain white background. Next, the photos must be taken no more than 6 months prior to uploading. Number 3, the applicant must wear decent attire with color. So in my case, I prefer wearing a formal attire. Next, there is a note here that application will not be processed if number one, photo does not resemble applicant. So what does that mean? When you upload a photo which is not yourself. Number two, applicant wears eyeglasses. This is important. So do not wear eyeglasses in your photo. Number three, background is not plain white. So any background that is not plain white will be rejected. Number four, photo has shadows. Number five, ears are covered. So after you read that, click proceed. To upload your photo, scroll down, click choose file, then select or find the photo in your computer. So after you select, click open. Then after that, click upload image. So after that, you are done. Congratulations. You have successfully registered into the LERIS or the licensure examination and registration information system. That's all for today guys. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
This has been Sir EJ. Peace.